G'day Andrew, Hayden here at Pacific Toyota giving you the personalized high definition virtual tour on our Toyota Land Cruiser 79 series dual cab ute. Um, it's uh, basically what I'm going to do is just show you through the entire vehicle. Um, so you can see I've got the bonnet pop there. So we're going to start off in the engine bay um, and then from there we'll work our way around the vehicle um, going through all the paint and panel. Um, also goes through obviously the, uh, the extras that have been added to the vehicle. And then uh, we'll work our way into the interior, going through obviously all the condition, the service history, and all the instrumentals that come with the car. Alrighty, so we'll uh, kick things off obviously under the hood here, as you can see, nice and tidy. All in great condition. Close this one down. Across the bonnet here. Again, fantastic condition as well. Uh, so there doesn't appear to be any dents that I could see or anything like that. Uh, a couple of little stone chips. So we've got one just here. That's pretty much about it from what I can see. Just a bit of dirt. Yeah, so just uh, one on the front there so far from what I can see. Um, through the front bar, so this is a ARB premium bar. Um, so obviously got the uh, the tri-loop. Um, it is fitted out with uh, obviously indicators and obviously fog lights. And then inside we do have your worn winch as well. Um, so it's uh, obviously fitted out inside there. And that is a uh, synthetic rope as well as you can see. All right, so the bar's in really good condition. Um, so just coming down through the passenger side panels, all the panels seem to be nice and straight. Doesn't appear to be any dents or anything that I can see through there. Um, now obviously factory alloy wheels um, and they're wrapped in a Bridgestone jewel, all, all terrain tire. And as you can see, there's heaps of tread left on those. Um, now this has been fitted out with a GVM upgrade. As you can see there, looks like Old man emu suspension. Um, from what I can see, I'll have to, uh, have to double check that. Yes, yeah, so old man emu suspension kit out, uh, fit out underneath the vehicle with the suspension upgrade. Um, easy way to tell with the GVM. There's obviously the larger indicators on the side. Paintwork wise, through this side. All in really good condition. Snorkel up through there. Side uh, rails down below. Couple of really, really light scratches through the door here. Most of this stuff will just buff out though. Anderson plug on the top there. Sigur socket plug through the back. The uh, galvanized steel tray, King Chrome, uh, King Chrome underbody toolboxes, also, as you can see. Spotlight at the back there as well on the headboard. Coming through to the rear, tow bar, spare tire. Second underbody toolbox through there through the panel work down through here again nice and straight no visible dents couple of light scratches again just down this side again most of this stuff should just buff out under the tray underbody water tank as well and you can see it's just fitted out like so Probably not going to focus in there, unfortunately. Paintwork wise, through here though, also there's a bit of a mark just here, another one just down here. A couple of marks just here. That's just a bit of dirt. 
So on all through the actual vehicle, apart from a couple of really, really light scratches, um, everything else is in really, really good condition from what I can see. Um, so we'll show you through second row of seats. That's obviously your tow bar in the back there. Through the backs of the seats, all in fantastic condition as well. Through the back, there's your uh, red art BC to DC charger. And all the wiring as well through there. So it looks like they've had a lithium battery in there at some point, but obviously uh, due to the price of lithium batteries, they've uh, they've opted to keep that, but uh, obviously leave all the uh, the wiring for the secondary battery kit there for the next user. All right, so we'll jump in. Show you obviously inside the vehicle now, turn the car over. So the vehicle does come with two remotes and three keys, so um, they're all there in their entirety. Alright, so as you can hear there, it ticks over nicely, which is good. We have 89,275 k showing on the clock there, and as you can see, no warning lights. Uh, cruise control just down below here. There's your work lights, uh, your DPF manual burn off, driving lights, which they've had on at some point. Um, obviously got the button in there, um, and obviously your Red Arc Toe Pro Elite. All your window controls, so power windows being the GXL. Infotainment system. Open ourselves up to criticism. Feel as though we, we are letting each other down. So as you can hear there, all the speakers are working nicely. Is fitted out with your Bluetooth over here on the side, so I'll tilt the camera up. Um, and USB and AUX just down below that. Air conditioning controls, they're pretty much standard. Obviously, uh, your main and your auxiliary battery um, displays are just here as well. Obviously, no auxiliary setup just yet. Um, all your full driving options, all your driving modes just here. 12 volt auxiliary port just below that. And then over in here, uh, your worn winch controller. Books. Keys for the toolboxes. Obviously, uh, that's for your headboard. Obviously, if you've uh, got stuff on top uh, with a ladder rack of some description. Um, but all in all, through the actual vehicle itself, in really, really good condition. Uh, there's nothing to really report other than uh, other than that. Um, everything else is fairly tidy through here, which is good. Um, so what we'll do is we might jump out and give you a final look over the vehicle now. Alrighty. So that is our Toyota Land Cruiser 79 Series Dual Cab. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. If you do have any further questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call. But I look forward to, uh, to chatting with you soon. Thanks, Andrew.